Hello and welcome back to another episode of Easy to Embellished. We're going to make three fantastic cards with this sweet hummingbird stamp set here. I always start out with a very simple stamp and then we get fancier each time pulling out all the stops for card number three. You can see they have the coordinating dies available, but you can get this stamp set with or without. And here are the sweet hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. In fact, we just had one fly into our house the other day. My son had to fetch it out of the upper windows. And then if you look close above his hand, there it is flying away. So let's dive into card number one. This is our simple card, and I usually just do basic stamping. This is gonna be an elegant black and white card. I'm taking the floral, the larger floral cluster, and I'm gonna stamp it on both of the lower corners, and then one coming in from the upper left corner as well. I have a small piece that I've cut from my all-purpose mat, and I like to, since I'm stamping off the edge, I don't have to waste any paper, this just catches it and I can wipe it right up. So now we're ready for our hummingbird that's going to take center stage there and you can see these images are stamping beautifully. Now this is the May stamp of the month. It's called Time to Celebrate and there are beautiful sentiments on here and they have this very flowy scripty font to them and you can get this stamp set sorry about my hat there but you can get this stamp set for five dollars with a qualifying purchase that is an awesome value this is normally like an 1895 stamp set so five dollars is a great opportunity to add this to your stamp collection if you've been following me for a while, you know I love my shimmer brush. So even though this is black and white, it doesn't mean we can't add a little sparkle. And when I hold this up in the end, you will really see that hummingbird shine. I'm going to mat this on a piece of black cardstock. And then we have our little sentiment here. And I just stamped the word thank you. I'm popping this up on foam tape. And I, I thought my card panel was just a little bit off kilter there so I'm just re-adhering that and now I have my white envelopes card and envelope value pack and I'm just centering this onto my card base and then we will add the sentiment here just like so kind of off to the right and here is card number one can you see that shine when I hold it in the light like that it's gorgeous this black and white card is very elegant so for card number two, we're going to step it up a notch. You can see I've taken this white daisy card stock and I've embossed that with a retired floral embossing folder. And I've also gone ahead and cut out this stitched rectangle frame. We're using the inner portion from the medium frame for that lovely stitch detail around the edge there. Now for my stamped images on this card, I'm going to be die cutting them out. And I'm also going to be coloring them with my Spectrum Noir tri-blend markers. So I'm using the Intense Black ink because this is a solvent-based permanent ink and the alcohol markers won't cause the lines to bleed or anything like that. So I have my hummingbird, two of the small flowers, and the large cluster. I went ahead and die cut those off camera there. And now I was showing you I have my dark red marker and the light green blend. And I've sped this portion up so I can show you what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of alternating. I'm using dark in areas where I think it would be kind of shadowed and lighter on the other areas just to give this hummingbird some depth and dimension. When you use the varied shades of these colored markers, it really brings these images to life. We have the ruby-throated hummingbirds around our house, so that is what inspired my color choices for this bird. I'm adding some bits of the ice gray color around the edges here on his tail and wing tips. And now I'm gonna go ahead and color in. I've um, sped this up a bit so you guys don't have to watch me color the whole image. But again, I'm using the same red and green markers and you can see that just is going to look lovely there. Now I'm adding just a bit of depth with the darker shade. So we're ready to assemble card number two. I'm going to adhere this embossed floral panel to a bit of black card stock. And now I have a little piece of fun foam just for my local craft store. I'm going to pop up this center stitched rectangle frame here 
and we'll place that right in the center of our card and this is going to hang over the edge of the right side just a bit and I'm going to place these two smaller flowers hanging down off the bottom. Now where they join, I'm gonna put my sentiment there to hide that little bit of a mess there. So for my hummingbird, he is going to hang off quite a bit. So I'm going to use a little foam tape on his outer wing tip there. And then I'm just gluing the inner portion like so. So my sentiment, I already had stamped and I heat embossed this. This is from the Say It In Style stamp set and there's just a ton of sentiments on there. I go ahead and stamp them all at once and then heat emboss them with white embossing powder and cut them out and have these ready to go and it really helps speed up the card making process. This is a card for my mom, so I chose Happy Mother's Day as my sentiment there. And now we're just going to adhere this whole thing to our A2 card base. And I just really make sure to get my adhesive around the edges. I ran out of my tape runner, so we're adding a little bit of glue. And I'm just going to center this so we have the white margin all the way around the edge there. And of course, we've got to add a little bit of shimmer. This is the Julep Shimmer Brush, and it goes really beautifully with that green shade. And now I'm going to use the clear on the rest of the Hummingbird. I know that the shimmer is subtle in the camera image, but when you see it in real life, it really does add a wow factor. You can see that shimmer and shine there on our ruby-throated Hummingbird, and this is card number two. Are you ready for card number three? We're gonna get even fancier. So again, I have my black card stock. We have our white daisy stitched um, panel. There's a piece of vellum and a black circle. For the vellum, I've used the largest of our basic circle dies and the largest of the stitched circle dies for the black circle there. So I wanna add a little background to our White Daisy card panel here. And so I have my pewter ink, and this is a stencil I cut out on my Cricut. I believe it's from the Art Philosophy cartridge. I will link that below in the description box. But I'm just using my sponge blending tool, and it's a little too square for me, so I'm going to extend that down and up and kind of just round out the edges a little bit into more of an abstract shape there. So now we can go ahead and adhere this to our black cardstock piece and we're ready to assemble. I have all these pre-colored because I showed you how to do that on card number two. So I'm adding a little bit of silver embellishing thread. We're going to wrap this around our fingers three or four times and put a little adhesive on the back and it sticks right in the adhesive and you can just kind of fan those out. The black cardstock's going to hide all of our adhesive on the vellum so we don't need to worry about that. I'm going to repeat the process on the opposite side of our vellum circle. So again, three or four times depending on how long you cut your piece and then just kind of tack that down and we have our little messy thread tangle just add some texture and shine with the shiny silver thread now for our large floral cluster i'm going to tuck this in behind the circle on the top of the card and for the hummingbird i'm going to pop him up completely so we're going to use the foam squares and tear little bits here and there to fit in the smaller sections we can go ahead and remove the adhesive backing and I'm going to put him off to the left, just kind of like so there, perfect. Now I'm going to take one of these smaller flowers here and put that right in front of our hummingbird like he's going to have a drink from that flower. So for our sentiment, I'm again using that May stamp of the month, time to celebrate. And for this card, I chose thank you. So I'm gonna stamp this right across the bottom. This, this part is always kind of nerve wracking, but that came out beautifully. Perfect. I love the flowy scripty font on this stamp. I think it's just perfect for these cards. So now we're gonna go ahead and adhere this to our card panel. And as a finishing touch, you guys know I'm gonna do it. We're gonna add some shimmer to our hummingbird. You have to have the shimmer. If you don't have a shimmer brush, I would highly recommend starting with the clear. There's several colors, but the clear you can use, um, you know, on just about anything. So start out with the clear shimmer brush and you're gonna love it, I promise. 
So here is card number three. I love it. I love that stenciled background and the softness of the vellum and all of our layering here. It uh, turned out great. I'm really happy with this card. Of course, I just love hummingbirds, so I think I'm kind of biased. But there's our first black and white card, our second card, and then our card number three. Which one's your favorite? Which one do you guys like the best? I'd love to hear your vote in the comment below. I hope you guys are inspired to see how you can step up your card projects. And for more inspiration, here is my playlist to the rest of my easy to embellish cards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.